Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video. And today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is a little bit of an early look at the upcoming Riddler action figure from their DC Multiverse line. Not just one Riddler, a two Riddlers. Now, the first figure, of course, is the standard edition. He'll be available everywhere. Edward Nigma, Eddie Nashton... You get the idea. Riddler, in more of his late 70s, 80s, kind of into the 90s look, right? He's a little bit more buff, so we'll say 80s to early 90s, even though it has the old-fashioned artwork on the box. Still kind of works. Here is the barcode for when this particular Riddler starts to hit store shelves, hopefully by September. Now, there is actually a Platinum Edition version. This sports more of his Super Friends look. If you see the colors... The more simplistic costume, and of course, yes, the big Farland Platinum Edition sticker on there. The box is largely the same. DC Classic, yada yada, same artwork. And then, of course, yes, it will have the same barcode as well. Platinum Editions are not exclusive to any store. You could order the Riddler on Amazon, and you could get this one shipped to you. It's just up in the air. It's like a rare chase version. But like I said, the Classic Regular Edition is... More along the lines of how we've seen the Riddler from his first incarnation up until, let's say, the 90s, right? But it wasn't until late 70s, 80s, he kind of took on this more muscular look, which I actually like. I think that that's a really cool look, even though I like the Batman, the animated series, suited jacket version, of course. And then, yes, like I said, the Platinum Edition will take on his Super Friends look. Now, they didn't change much. A Super Friends head portrait would have been cool, but at least there's a little bit of a difference there to differentiate, right? So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the upcoming McFarlane Toys, the Riddler Standard Classic Edition and Super Friends Platinum Edition. So here we go. And riddle me this, all you DC Multiverse fans. Thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you'll like. So, once you get both the boxes open, here's everything for both of the figures. And yes, it is the same figure throughout. Same exact hands, same exact accessories. It's just a difference of paint. So you get a little bit of a different deco on the Platinum Edition to make it the Super Friends version. But rest assured, it's the same throughout. Much like the cane. So you get the Riddler cane, which is perfect for what I want. Now it is a bit of a bendy, wormy cane, but it definitely achieves the Riddler cane look. And you get multiple hands, which they have really started to do with a lot of different characters, which I'm totally stoked on. So you have more of a cane slash trigger finger holding hand. You have the outstretched hand, gloved hands galore, right? Punchy hands, thumbs up, finger pointing, makes for a lot of different gestures, and I totally appreciate that. So thumbs up on listening to the fans on extra hands. Now, with the Riddler figure, it's pretty dang cool. I actually really like this. I think they hit a expert home run it is a reuse of a body we have seen but it really works for that simplicity that i enjoy of old-fashioned superhero super villain costumes the question marks go all the way around it's even on the back side and that's what i love to see it doesn't stop to just the paint on the front it goes all the way around it's got peg holes you get the idea the face portrait is pretty darn cool i totally dig that and i simply love that they put the blue accent paint in the black hair. If that doesn't say old school DC Comics, what does, right? So that is awesome. Totally dig that. Even down to the paint on the face, they kind of spruced him up a little bit. Really brought out that cleft chin of his right there. That's a mighty chin. Just kind of get him looking up. He's proud of that there chin, right? I'm happy for him right there. So overall, the head portrait is very much, yeah, that's the smarmy looking smart Alec. Riddler, as with the articulation, the finger point in hand, I love that right there. You've seen this articulation through and through. There's nothing mind-blowing, there's nothing changed. It all works. He's got a great limey green, Riddler green to him. So I totally dig that, and the purple works, the painted belt buckle. Yeah, I love it. And I love the way they did the gloves. He has more of those pirate gloves, right, which is very cool. They move. If you pull the hands off, you can remove them. 
But uh, yeah, they go over the joints really well. You just kind of position the hand and you can slip the glove down a little bit and hide the joint. So I totally dig that. They should do that more. Let's say with a Batman figure or something like that, right? But through and through, that's a great looking Riddler. So high five to that. Now with the Platinum Edition Super Friends Riddler, like I said, it's going to be the exact same cane, same gold color, looks great. Same exact deal with the hands, all the same. And this version of the Riddler is pretty darn nice as well. I actually really like the head portrait, and I really like that you can see the eyes within his domino mask. The one thing, though, is that they did askew the blue paint within the hair, but that, again, fits better with the Super Friends look, whereas the comic book look needs the blue hair. Simplistic costume, just the purple question mark, the green, same gloves, the boots... Even though it's reuse, yada yada. But I'm glad that they did this version as a variant chase. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it is definitely a find if you're a fan of Super Friends. And the head portraits switch easy, which is nice to see. So you can leave their respective head portraits on just like that, right? A-OK. -okay. But if you get both figures, you can swap them and both look pretty good. So I'm happy to say that actually works. Now, what really works here is that if you've been developing a McFarlane Toys Batman collection, the villains especially, the Riddler does fit in with this particular Joker, this particular Mr. Freeze. Totally dig that. Likewise with the Super Friends version as well. So both of these Riddlers are more of that classic look, and it just stands out on your DC comic shelf, much like the Nightfall Batman or the Year 2 Batman. So a little bit of a height difference between the two, I really do like the Nightfall height. I think that that really does work well with a lot of these newer figures, so keep that a coming. Even with the Boy Wonder, right? They're both pointing at each other, whereas Robin's really just pointing at Batman because the Riddler is about to take a pummeling from old Batman. Now, one cool aspect is, yes, he does have a trigger finger hand, what DC Multiverse figure doesn't, but if you have a gun, yeah, the Riddler is definitely known to use guns. And if you're a DC UC collector, no, unfortunately, this Riddler is going to be way too tall for all the old Mattel classics. So, that will wrap it up for my early look at the brand new classic edition of the Riddler and the Platinum Edition Super Friends version. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. I'm really stoked on what they're really starting to delve into with the DC Multiverse line. And this Riddler, Riddlers is no exception from the 70s to the 80s to the 90s that's where i love to live with my dc comics so for this riddler it is a home run both of them in fact so i recommend both of them highly i think they're a lot of fun and i think you'll have a lot of fun with them with all the expressive hands on your shelf and in taking photography but you've heard my thoughts and now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything the riddler and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, thanks for sticking with me. My voice, I'm a little bit under the weather, but uh, I'm getting better, rest assured. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.